It's not so long ago since Reigate Priory was private property. Only a few people in Reigate were privileged to see its spectacular interior and the beautiful grounds. Dorothy Alltimes was a travelling maid for the Beatties from 1922 to 1924. I remember one, one afternoon the Marchioness of Milford Haven was coming and the irises were out, the purple irises. I took two of those vases to her bedroom. Dorothy was kept busy keeping the place clean and tidy. Now in the bathrooms there were trolleys, glass top trolleys, with big bowls, I'm not exaggerating, big bowls like that of, with a powder puff and powder in it. And glass topped bottles full of bath essence. Of course, naturally, when they weren't there, we uh, had a bath with bath essence in ourselves. <laughs> <For> those mates. <laughs> One very cold winter, Sherry Legg remembers being invited with his father to skate on the Priory Pond. The Admiral used to have men sweeping the swarf, piling it up into long piles of snow, and in the top of these, uh, they used to put Chinese lanterns with candles in, and round the banks of the pond, they used to put braziers with coke burning in them, lovely and warm and glowing on the ice. During the Second World War, Peter Beatty leased the Priory to Rank the Millers. When Ranks took over the Priory, they had to protect the artefacts and the points of beauty that there were in the Priory. And the main Holbein Hall, the staircase at one end of it, had to be protected with plywood, including the fluted wooden pillars that supported the roof above. The actual staircase itself was not protected because it wasn't used.